all students applying to universities in Ontario will be applying through the Ontario Universities Application Centre, or OUAC. It's an online centralized application. That means that you do one application and you can send it to as many universities inside of Ontario as you like. What we will do next is go through the application page by page and just give you a quick introduction to completing your online application to Ontario universities. In order to start the online application process through OUAC, you will require three pieces of information. These three pieces of information come from your OUAC access code letter. You'll need your school number, your student number, and your PIN code. This information will be given to you by the University Placement Office. This is the Program Choices page. Here you can select your universities and your programs. You can select as many universities as you'd like. Here is the Order Choices page. It is where you can go to rank your universities based on your choice. It is also where you can find your application fee. This is the Personal Information page. Here you're going to tell them personal information about yourself, such as your name, your date of birth, your country of citizenship, and your first language. This is the Address Information page. Here you're going to give them your email address, as well as your mailing address. The universities will contact you through both email as well as paper mail, so they need to know both addresses. This is the additional questions section. Here they're going to ask you about both your previous school before coming to CIC, as well as your time here in CIC. There'll be questions about how long you've spent in Ontario high schools, how long you spent in Canadian high schools, how long that you have been studying in English. The two main questions that tend to cause students a bit of trouble are question one. Have you ever attended a post-secondary institution before? Columbia International College is not a post-secondary institution. We are a high school, which is considered a secondary institution. So for a majority of our students, the answer to this question is no. Unless, before coming to CIC, they have attended a university or college before. If you find yourself in this situation, please come talk to your counselor. Question two asks you, have you ever attended a secondary school outside of Ontario? For most of our students, this answer is yes. They're asking about your previous school before you came to CIC. When they're asking outside of Ontario, they mean anywhere in the world outside of Ontario, not just inside of Canada. So before coming to CIC, if you attended high school in another country or another province, your answer is yes. On the next page, they're going to ask you for more details about this previous school. When did you start attending there? When did you finish? How long were you there for? The name and the address. The last page is the submit section. In this section, you're going to verify that the information that you have provided is correct. You'll do a final review and summary, and then you'll move on to the payment section and complete the application. There are two main methods for paying for your online application. The first method is credit card. You can fill in your credit card information and it is the fastest and easiest way to pay for your OUAC application. Please note, however, Visa debit cards and prepaid credit cards are not accepted. The second method of payment is online banking. So if you don't have a credit card, you can use your online bank account to transfer the funds to OUAC. The University Placement Counselors run training sessions to help you with the OUAC application. We run through the application step by step, question by question. It's a great opportunity to make sure you get a really detailed look at the online application. My name is Megan Farquhar and I'm in grade 12 and I'm going to be graduating in December. So in addition to the University Placement Office answering many of our questions regarding universities and where to apply, they also hold many workshops and many university talks regarding universities and the OUAC website in particular. And the OUAC workshop is very important and has been very pinnacle for me because I've had many questions about how do I apply, what kind of questions um, I should be answering, how I should be answering these questions. And I know that if I did not attend, a workshop with Ms. Tara and the other counselors, I, I would just be very confused and, and I wouldn't be able to answer things properly and I know that I would mess up in a lot of components. So attending these workshops have really been very, very important to me because I feel like I'm so much more confident now. I've, 
I know how to do things properly. I know what I'm going to be answering. And that really gives you, makes me, has made me feel really good about me applying. And the university talks that they've given us has just opened my mind to how many different universities are and what kind of universities um, are offering and what I'm looking for in particular. In this computer lab, you can come here for our on-site assistance. You can work on your OUAC application, and you can also do any university research that is required. We also have university view books that you can use for your research and to find out all sorts of good information about universities, applications, and anything else that you need to know. I highly encourage all students to come to an OUAC training session to learn very detailed information about what they need to know for the online application. Thank you for watching our video, and I hope it helps you as you move through this very important stage in the last year at Columbia International College.